Hello there friends, in this video tutorial I will introduce my new animated photo action. Its name Allure, uh, animated Allure photo action. Uh, as you see, it's my uh, test example. Uh, I opened my timeline panel. If you don't see this panel, uh, go to window and find timeline menu. Okay, uh, I hide this panel uh, for a while by double click on uh, this area uh, ok, uh, what we need to do first we need to install our action of course and uh, brushes uh, let's install our action go to action panel if you don't see this panel go to window and find action menu go to right corner of this panel click on this icon, click load action uh, if you see I have my animated allow uh, uh, for action ok, I have two steps step one it's about create a static image and if you want to add animation you uh, need to use step two add animation ok, after that we need to install our brushes uh, uh, in this version uh, of Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 uh, we need to install only via preset, preset manager uh, be sure that you have preset type brushes click load and other brushes and you will see other brushes folder with all necessary brushes uh, we need in early version uh, of Photoshop, uh, you can install brushes uh, via brushes uh, panel via right corner. But in new version, uh, I don't ha uh, I don't have this menu. Okay, uh, our tools are ready, and we can start work with my test image. First, we need to uh, be sure that we have default background layer with lock. It's very important in all actions that you uh, have and use uh, before you play action and create uh, new layers. Uh, for example, you open a uh, PNG file and you open like this uh, layer with name layer 0 and how we can convert your main image into our default background layer with lock it's very easy it's uh, you don't need to do this manually like this and uh, set to lock no uh, it's more easy that you think uh, just select your layer go to layer menu new and background from layer and photoshop uh, all uh, photoshop create uh, this layer default layer okay what we need to uh, do next we uh, need uh, to be sure that we have rgb color and a b per channel and of course uh, we must use only English version of Photoshop. After that, uh, go to image size, and of course we uh, need set the uh, high resolution of your image. My recommendation it uh, should be more than two thousand and five hundred pixels on each side, and minimum resolution is seventy two pixels per inch. OK, click OK. My image is ready to work. What we need to do next, uh, of course, we need to create a new layer. Give the name a default name brush. Uh, select soft or hard brush with opacity 100%. Uh, select any color as you like. More users uh, use red color, of course. And uh, draw over your object. Uh, uh, 
I know uh, that you will do this more accurate than I create now. Oh, okay, um, I have prepared mask. Uh, one more important thing uh, for animation. If you don't uh, want to see hard edges on animated layers, uh, we need to sure that we have a little bit more space around your object. You need to understand that animation go from from the center to uh, around your object. Okay, it's enough. Cool. Okay, my image is ready now to apply my animated action. First, I want to create a static image. Okay, just click play. Let's see what we will get in results, in final results. Cool. Step one is finished. Before adding animation, I recommend to reduce image size for better performance of Photoshop and final size of animation. It's mean uh, Photoshop uh, will work more better and faster uh, if you have uh, uh, less size than original. Uh, Photoshop uh, better calculate each frame and cache each frames in memory. Cool. Let's see what we have uh, in our folders. Uh, of course, we have. Uh, base colorizing and as you see I locked these two layers and we don't need to change uh, any uh, from these layers and main allure it's main our uh, like a okay uh, effects uh, like circles and you can scale up and or scale down see what happened course uh, blue allure I think it's easy to see uh, which layers uh, showed in our document okay uh, go next it's our uh, two layers uh, to more to add more contrast of our main image uh, of course change the color it's basic but uh, I created uh, e for uh, users uh, who like change a monotone color but I don't like this effect and for more intermediate users I create a contrast uh, folder when you uh, can change uh, uh, our way color via color balance it's a very cool effect and uh, offers to change your contrast a color of your circles and uh, I have a lot of text examples and basic results with more contrast it's better uh, color effect for this allure effect okay uh, this level is basic it's overall contrast Okay, and of course we have a uh, 20 color fix for your images. Cool. Uh, okay, uh, I think my image is ready and I can save it uh, as JPEG file, but I want to add the animation. Before I add the animation, uh, I remember, of course, my recommendation that we need to reduce my image size, and I do this now. Go to image, image size, and maybe it will be 1000 pixels per one side. Okay, it's enough for my example.
Okay. After that, go to step two, add the animation and click play. Okay, animation is ready for plain animation. Open the timeline panel for this code to window timeline. Okay, uh, I tell you this uh, before we start a static image, but let's uh, refresh our way knowledge and window and timeline panel. Okay, uh, let's see our animation. Cool animation. I like this effect. Uh, okay, it's. Uh, I think it's all about this effect, and you can export as a video or image sequence. But more popular, of course, it's about export uh, as GIF format. For this, go to export, save for web. Uh, don't worry about this uh, white window. Don't think this uh, your Photoshop uh, stuck. We need to wait a little bit while Photoshop calculate each frame and write cache into our own program. Okay. Uh, and final important thing that uh, you need to set. The looping option from once to forever if you want infinity looping if your animation okay uh, click save uh, select your folder and let's see our animation okay this is my final animation okay uh, that's all guys. Uh, I think it will be help helpful uh, for you and if you have any questions uh, feel free to contact me via my email. You can find the last page in help PDF file. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.